Hi guys, um, this is now part whatever, I don't know where we're at, right? But please go check out the previous parts to gauge your bearings, right? Uh, I was talking about how this guy, I started getting dreams about him during the time when he was giving me money of looking very holy, praying for me, hoping that I come up for air and that I'm okay, that I will survive, that I will be good. Mar. However, in these dreams where he's wearing these white robes looking like a Christian, he was super dark, like not even so much in complexion, but just shrouded by something dark on the face and he was short, tiny, it was, he was always very small, very, very small, a small little frame of a man but wearing white robes i ignored them thinking ah whatever and he's wearing white and he's looking all white and he's looking all godly uh, so he's probably a christian whatever and then next thing one day he sends me a direct message asking me if i got some like uh, funds that he transferred to me right um and as soon as his dm came through guys the flood of like romantic feelings in my heart for him the level of excitement that i felt at this dm coming through like you know when you have a new crush and you can't wait to hear from them i was like what in the world like i was surprised at it because i was not attracted to this guy like that i had been in his page looked at him looked at his general life and definitely and i was like whatever he's just a man and yet whenever i got a dm from him my heart my heart i would feel fl like a flood of romantic feelings spurring up in me and i was like i will get over it. this guy he's not for you he's not your type you don't like him he's not plus i i get i went onto his page your facebook his marital status was separated i'd always hung on to the doctrine that a man after giving his wife a letter of divorcement if she's still alive you can't remarry because then it's adultery so for me i was like ah he's a married man no first and foremost and even if he's getting for a divorce i cannot be an adulteress i will not participate in that mutiny so it wrote him off but my feelings you and I just ignored them, kept on brushing them off, but no, the guy kept on providing. And we started to become sort of kind of friends now, chatting on the daily. He never, ever, like, said, I want to be with you, I want to love you, I want to do whatever. He was very mature. He kept the distance, because remember I told him, mm -mm, I don't, like, this will never, ever turn out to be a romance. Until one day I woke up and I had such strong feelings for this guy. Such strong feelings for this guy that I was like, I mean, you know, for crying out loud. Out of honor, it would be just a travesty for me to let such a loving, providing man go. And if at all he has feelings for me, then I guess, you know, that's how the Lord has orchestrated this thing for us. Long story short, I pretty, I pretty much put myself like Ruth on his threshing floor on some, if you want to pursue me, it's all systems go, you can. He responded at the speed of light. He, he like he just hopped on it i'm not even going to explain how that threshing floor moment happened because like i've been speaking for like ever in a day you'd have to go to my previous videos to get the story the testimony of this guy right um but he responded immediately almost as if though he was like i was speaking in code in this one video that i did but he understood what it meant this dude then we started communicating now got video conference video call as opposed to just the dm space ne? because now he was pursuing me going hard and he proposed to me within like a day or two or three already like he proposed marriage to me on some i want i want you to be my wife he vomited every last one of his like track record his rap sheet was not scared to tell me anything taboo about him like he'd been to prison or whatever and on top of that know and understand that this guy um was he was defensive he every time i would like inquire like like now he couldn't look me in the face now he was looking down Almost as if he was thinking about what he was saying. Like, you know, when you are manufacturing information and you're not at liberty or free when you speak. He was speaking to me like that. And whenever I would pause him to try and get clarify, clarity on something he was saying, he would get defensive and upset on some, you, you, you know, like, no, he was, he was like passive aggressive almost. But Karabo was strangely with funny little weird feelings. I opened the door, guys with my sensuality i let it's like you know how i spoke about a city a person without self-control is like a city without walls it's like there was a sliver an opening in my otherwise very fortified city and that's how his witchcraft was able to slip through he was able to successfully slap me with a love curse where feelings were put in my heart that weren't real um for him because of that compromise mind you i not only had feelings for this guy that were romantic but i was extremely sexually drawn to him that's the thing the devil cannot give love he can only mimic it by in creating a whole bunch of lust so all i wanted to do was jump this guy's bones and i thought that was love i was incredibly sexually attracted to him and i was incredibly tempted unto masturbation because of this guy i even did a video where i confessed that there was a time when i capitulated to masturbation when i was with this guy and that was it was during that time when god was here you know when the kingdom of heaven is fighting for a soul 
I couldn't sleep. I couldn't um, rest. Even though I thought I was content with this guy, I was wrestled. I was lambasted by nightmares. I was seeing snakes in my dreams. I was being told that a succubus spirit is having a field day. Hey, Batum. I quickly repented because I immediately knew that you don't get to be a Christian calling yourself, uh, what is the word? Chaste. While you're busy, you know, masturbating, your prayers are going to be hindered. Not only are your prayers going to be hindered, every other random witch that's after your life now is going to prosper to chop your head off, Garabo. Yo, guys, yo, this guy, after one teleconference conversation with him that was a video call, I ended the relationship via DM. Like, you know, I got off the phone with him and via DM, I was like, hey, I'm not sure about this. Something feels uncomfortable because I am unhinged and I'm uneasy. And there was something that, you know, just doesn't feel right. I need to take this to God in prayer. Fasting and praying type setup thing. And this dude was like, yeah, okay, whatever. It's all right. It, you know, the way that he was just so mature in accepting my responses. I remember thinking, second guessing myself because of his maturity. Yo, guys, I, I was flooded with lust. I capitulated to masturbation for a season. Repented quickly because God fought me with that. Um, I then... Uh, he like, kind of kept them around. I continued to upload my sensual content on social media. I continued to dance the way that I was dancing. I, I Basically, I was just like, whatever, this guy's witchcraft would not have had any lodging in me at all if I didn't have that area of compromise. Yeah, mega, this guy was not going to get anywhere with me because I was strong and fervent. I could still feel the spirit of God, do you understand? But I was being war, I was being made war with by the kingdom of heaven because there were facets of me that were not right. And not only was I being made war with, but this guy, hey, God, you know when, hey, guys, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run to it and they are safe. God, we are Vigela. God protects his children. The Lord will go and kick a person to the curb. The Lord will extract an individual out of your environment Kicking and screaming He will rip this person out of your life You will still be holding on to this person And God will be like, I don't care that you want them Because the Lord sees what we don't This man was made to manifest yes, well, You know manifestation Like if you are a deliverance minister And you've seen people talking in tongues that are not understood Rolling on the floor twisting like a ventriloquist doll that that's how this guy manifests in my girl i broke off for a season to fast and pray you know seeking the lord's face for what's going on and in that by the time Nibuya, we had a conversation spoke all night long by the end of that conversation he was agitated he was angry he was telling me to bugger not so much to bugger off my he was speaking to me in an obviously very hostile way and i couldn't understand he got aggressive with me he got aggressive and basically something that i was thinking even if i was lulled to sleep by his demons i won't take that kind of disrespect like that i'm not taking in my stride he got abusive and i remember thinking maybe it's people separating us they're jealous they're jealous hey because i even like changed my facebook status update to uh, engaged for crying out not status but relationship status to engaged and i was like maybe they're separating us i try to tell him to pray it off this is demonic attack this person just he ghosted me <laughs> next part